Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? I can believe it. I've been working on these all week long. Even, probably even longer than that. We have lots and lots of cute little giant chonkers. Eaten, eaten, eaten all day long. Love them, love the caterpillars. So, hey everybody, good afternoon, good night, how are you? Welcome to the channel, this is Butterfly Square Garden. A place where you can be free to be yourself. And we like caterpillars a lot. You can see them so easily because they've eaten most of the food and there isn't as much place to hide. So that is why I went out and I got all of these. It's like eight leaves and I'm gonna put them in the cage now, but just one more, one more look, one more looky-loo. Look at those little fatties. They're so cute. Good afternoon. Look at me, I'm covered in ugh, mosquito bites all over. Um, my garden's full of mosquitoes. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> but every time I go out to get leaves, I get chewed up. Um, I'll show you my garden tomorrow. But yep, aren't they so adorable? I love them. Also, this is my little baby caterpillar enclosure. They have the food, they're, they're eating, they're chewing that, and then um, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the wall right now. One on, there's a couple up top. And then we've got this chrysalis that turned black, which means that it's going to be closed first thing in the morning. So let's take our leaves and cover the babies. Look, they like to hang on the wall. They're in the back. They eat and then they rest and shed their skin. That's all they do. I'm not even gonna bother moving what's in there, like the other flower tubes with the leaves, because they'll still eat what's left. I mean, there is extra food. You can see they still have entire leaves, but that's all gonna be gone, like in the hour, you know? Now that they're really big, one caterpillar can eat a whole leaf really quickly. Oh my God, I just love them so much. I just love them. Okay, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? I like to kind of put it in and then press it against the wall. Gotta be careful not to squish anybody. Okay, one leaf. Let's do that again. Two. I've got, look at these, they're giant, giant leaves. Three. Oh my goodness, here's another big giant one. Four. And let's do one over here. Five. Here's, can I fit one in the corner? Six. Seven. Here we can put one like this. Um, maybe like, how are we gonna do this? Like that. And then another one. We can maybe lay it across like that. And that's it, you know, they like to be covered. And if the leaf is on top of them, they'll just chew right through it. Alrighty, everybody. So now they're all gone. You can't, I mean, you can still see a bunch, but I basically just covered them all with leaves. That's why this the, the metal frame is really important because if they go under the leaf, they won't like, you know, suffocate. They still have plenty of air, like if I were to go 
um, you can look underneath and obviously it's really easy to see them. Anyways, um, so that's the butterfly, I mean the caterpillar enclosure. And that's it. You know, I just wanted to show you guys that they're really big. Sometimes I'll move the leaves that are mostly chewed up and I'll put them in the corner. And, you know, like this guy, he's just like resting. You know, they go to sleep. He's sleeping. And yeah, so I think today is the last day that I'll leave them in here. And then tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll just pick up the leaves and I'm, I'm conflicted about using this tower. It's probably the best yet. I love it, but I know for a fact that the butterflies are going to climb. I mean, they're, the caterpillars are going to become uh, chrysalis like right here. And it really doesn't leave much space for the butterflies to to you know, come out and fly away or whatever, you know? So I think I might just move them to a different enclosure with more space and use that for the smaller caterpillars. And I know you guys have heard me mention using butternut squash because now that I'm doing, you know, more and more leaves every time, we've got like 60 caterpillars and each one is eating a leaf a day at least so um i i really i i put a pretty big dent in my milkweed and in the next couple of days it's all going to be gone and i want to save at least some for the butterflies to lay their eggs on and i have a whole bunch of seedlings but they're that's just it they're just seedlings um so it's really not much to work with so that's why the butternut squash comes in handy. The only problem is if you leave it out, it dries out really fast. And if you put it in a container or something, then it grows mold. You can't have it perfect. It either dries out or it's too wet and gets moldy. Hello, mister. Hello. Love ya. And I just love looking at the babies. They're all just resting. All of them, they're all resting and gonna shed their skin and grow and then go back down to eat more. So I thought I had enough leaves, but that really wasn't even close to enough. I'm gonna have to go into the dark. Go. Out. It's dark out, but I'm gonna have to go get more. Um, anyways, I'll zip this up in a second, but they're not. they're not gonna escape. So let me show you the butterfly stuff. We've got the babies resting in the corner. They go to sleep. They don't really sleep. They just have a um, period of inactivity. We've got the butterflies hanging out on the feeder. And they're kind of running out of Gatorade, so I'm going to have to refill them. Um, but they're leaking. They're leaking all over the enclosure. So I have them on paper towels, which they're drinking right off the paper towels. But I just wish there was a better way. It's just like they're either too open and they leak all over the place and then the butterflies get messy. Or they're the opposite, where they have little tiny holes and the butterflies can't find them. So, you know, there's got to be a perfect in between. Um, this leaf has hole marks. There's a baby caterpillar chewing on it. Same thing over here. There's baby caterpillars chewing on them. So I'm just going to clip the top off, put it in with the other babies and oop, they're flying. They're flying. One flies, they all fly. La. Fly, my pretties, fly. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all the big fat chonker caterpillars. And I've got some fun stuff to show you guys next time. Look at them. It's two males and they're standing on... He's trying to drink the other guy's wings. Oh my goodness. Okay, closing this. Closing. I've also got in here 
I found a caterpillar that isn't a monarch caterpillar, but it was eating the leaves. So I was like, let me save you. I've got him in there. Okay, everybody, you know, there's always so much to show you. I always want to have just like really short, quick videos and it turns into, let me show you this and let me show you that and update, update, update. That's not even everything I want to show you. So that's, that's just some stuff I wanted to say today. Anyways, love you guys and I hope you're having a good night. I will see you again tomorrow to show off what's left of my milkweed garden. There's still a lot left, you believe it or not. I had I had a lot of milkweed because I've been preparing for this for years, years, like four years. Um, I can't believe how fast they grow. Like I might have chrysalis or jayhangs. They're probably gonna start jayhanging tomorrow and I don't really want to have caterpillars in with the chrysalis, so we're going to be bouncing them. Maybe the little guys can go in there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ugh, man, it makes my brain smoke. I have to think so hard sometimes. Okay, that's the end of that. I hope you like seeing caterpillars. I kind of want to set up, like, a time-lapse camera or something where I can just set the camera down and then do a video of the caterpillars just devouring a leaf and maybe have it sped up because everyone really likes videos like that but anyways it is late it is bedtime i want to eat some some food i had a busy day and that's it i hope you like looking at caterpillars Good night, goodbye, bye bye bye, bye bye, love you. Plant butterfly plants, milkweed. Plant milkweed in your garden outside. Okay, plant milkweed, bye bye.